This month, you can win a set of Tactic LED headlights by subscribing to the Quadratech YouTube channel and leaving a comment down below. Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today, we're checking out the DVR-C320R premium dash camera from Alpine. This dash camera not only features full 1080p HD recording to capture what's going on around your vehicle, but also a ton of other great features like their drive assist technology to potentially make your next drive even safer. Now, I wanna cover all these great features from inside the Jeep with the camera installed, but before we do that, I wanted to go over everything that you're gonna get with the DVR C320R right here on the table. So for starters, we've got the main forward-facing camera, does record in full 1080p HD quality. We've also got some integrated controls right there on the backside of the camera. And this unit does feature built-in Wi-Fi and GPS technology. Now, in addition to that forward-facing camera, you're also getting a second rear-facing camera that also records in full 1080p HD quality. I like the option of having this rear facing camera as well, because if you've got a say Wrangler or Gladiator equipped with a soft top, you can mount that camera inside the windshield looking back at the interior of your Jeep to always capture what's going on on the inside of the cabin of your vehicle. If you've got a hard top equipped Wrangler or Gladiator, you could mount this in the rear glass to capture what's going on with the traffic behind your vehicle. Because of the universal design, not only can you install this in a Wrangler or Gladiator, but any Jeep or any vehicle for that matter, really you can install the C320R into. Now that rear facing camera does come with the primary harness that plugs right into the side of the camera and then features a disconnect point here, which I really like, especially if you're installing that rear camera in a hard top. If you ever wanna remove the hard top from the vehicle, you've got an easy way to disconnect that camera without leaving a bunch of extra wiring laying around. Alpine's also giving you this extension harness for that rear camera that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility at installing this camera system into either a Gladiator, two-door, four-door Wrangler, or maybe even a larger vehicle like a Jeep Grand Cherokee L, for instance. You're also gonna get a 32 gig micro SD card as well as a card reader with this kit to record all of that HD quality video and make it easy to pull that out, plug into your computer to review the footage. You'll also have the capability of connecting to the DVR C320R with your smartphone and Alpine's viewer app to easily view the footage that's been recorded with this system. Now you've got a couple of options for installing this kit into your vehicle. Again, Alpine has designed this to be a very universal dash cam. So you can choose to use their 12 volt power port harness that simply plugs right into the dash of your vehicle, either your cigarette lighter, or your 12 volt accessory port, and gives you connections for both the primary forward facing camera as well as that rear facing camera there. If you like more of a hardwired install, they've given you that harness as well. Again, we've got connections for the forward facing camera as well as the rear facing camera. We've got all the connections for both the battery, accessory power, and ground cable so the camera knows when to appropriately turn on and start recording when you start driving your vehicle. And we have some additional outputs on this hardwire harness as well. As you can see, we have dedicated video and audio output that you can connect to a multimedia receiver in your vehicle to view that footage right there on the dash from inside of your Jeep. Now, if you pair this up with an Alpine in-dash multimedia receiver, like say the i509, we've also got some digital connections that are happening there that are gonna allow you to do more than just view the footage from your camera, but also interact with, modify the settings, and use some of the drive assist settings that are built into this system as well. So with that, why don't I go ahead and get this system installed into the Jeep so we can check out all of those great features packed into the DVR C320R. Start by removing the tweeter cover on top of the dash. Next, we'll pull the two covers off the driver's side grab handle, revealing the 10 millimeter bolts holding it in place. After removing these bolts, give the grab handle a firm pull to remove the grab handle and a pillar trim from the windshield frame. Next, thoroughly clean the top portion of the windshield where you'll be installing the dash camera. Peel the backing from the pre-installed 3M adhesive tape and secure the dash camera to the top of the windshield. We can hide the wiring by simply tucking up behind the windshield trim, running the wire towards the driver's side A-pillar. Follow the factory wiring down the A-pillar 
be sure to secure that wiring so that it doesn't get pinched when you later reinstall that A-pillar trim. It may be easier to feed the lower portion of the harness up from the bottom of the dash. Once it's fed out to the top near the tweeter, we can make the connection to the dash camera and then reinstall the A-pillar trim and grab handle, paying close attention to not pinch any of the wiring. Resecure it with the two 10 millimeter bolts and reinstall those trim covers. Next, I'll run the wiring for the rear camera towards the back of the Jeep. I'm gonna run this down the driver's side door sill underneath the door jams for the front and rear doors. Simply pry away the trim enough so that you can fish the wiring underneath of the door sill, feeding it towards the B pillar. After routing the wiring around the B pillar, we can continue to route that wiring under the door sill trim for the rear door. I'm gonna use a wire fish to then pull that wiring up behind the rear seat bringing it out right where the factory wiring connection is made for the hardtop. You can route the wiring under the factory wiring covers under the door sill to ensure that no wiring gets pinched when you reinstall that door sill trim. When you're happy with the wiring, go ahead and reinstall the trim for both the rear and front section of the door sills. I made a small bracket to attach the rear facing camera to the rear window in the hardtop. This is so the rear camera will remain in place even if I slide open that center rear window. Clean both surfaces with an alcohol pad, then remove the backing from the pre-installed 3M adhesive tape and install the dash camera. Route the wiring from the dash camera up into the trim above the rear window in the hardtop towards the driver's side where I'll run it down to make the connection to the forward half portion of the wire harness right next to the factory connector for the hardtop. This is a great place to hide any additional wiring. Finally, we can make the connections to the I-509 harness. We'll need to connect to the constant power, switched power, and ground in the Alpine I-509 harness. Next, we can make the connection for the RCA video output of the camera to the dash camera input on the I-509 harness, as well as our LIN connection so that we have data control of the dash cam. With the wiring completed, tuck it back up under the dash and reinstall the lower dash panels under the steering column. With the cameras installed in the Jeep, I wanted to take a couple moments to walk you through some of the features and functions of the unit and how you can interact with it. As you can see, you get a great compact looking dash camera that tucks up nice and high here on your windshield for a very professional looking install. It is a universal style dash camera, so you can install it in virtually any vehicle and simply access the recorded footage by removing the memory card from the camera itself and plugging it into a computer. And then use the Alpine app to view the forward and rear facing camera footage as well as all the other data that it records. You also have the ability to pair it with your smartphone by simply hitting the Wi-Fi button on the on unit. Your smartphone. Connect to a Wi-Fi network. You'll get an audio prompt letting you know to pair your phone with the dash camera. And from there, you can access all of the recorded footage and modify some of the settings Wi-Fi disabled from the camera. Now, the best way to utilize all of the features and functions of the DVR C320R is by pairing it with an Alpine Restyle unit like the I-509 WRA JL. If you want to get more information on the I-509 or watch my full review video on the Restyle unit, you can click the info button or head over to quadratech.com. Now, with an Alpine Restyle unit installed in your Wrangler or Gladiator, we have the option of hitting the dash camera function and then we can view the live view by both the forward facing camera as well as our rear facing camera or a combined view of them together right here from the touch screen on the dash. Now, in addition to viewing the cameras, we also have the ability to dive into the menu and the settings, of course, when you're safely parked. Now from here, we can view all of the files that have been recorded, continuous recording, parking recordings, and even manual recordings that you saved by simply touching that record button right there on the dash camera. It's a great convenient way to be able to quickly review any of the footage that was recorded by the dash camera right here from inside the vehicle. And we also have the ability to dive into and change all of the settings for the dash camera again, right here from the driver's seat. We can change the type of recording settings that are in here, whether or not we're recording things like audio inside the Jeep, and we can activate the parking mode. You have a couple options. You can either do motion only around the vehicle, or you can do a time-lapse that's gonna record a continuous time-lapse video the entire time that your vehicle is parked. 
We can also jump into all of the different system settings that we have, like changing the volume output from the dash camera or activating the security LED that flashes when the vehicle's parked. We can also go into whether or not we wanna save things like the speed stamp on top of the recording. Now, finally, we also have the ability to access the additional driver safety features packed into the DVR C320R by hitting the road safety settings right here. From here, we can turn on things like safety cameras and mobile speed zones. It's gonna give you an audible notification from the camera as well as a visual notification on the screen when you enter an area protected by a traffic camera or maybe a red light camera. We also have some adaptive driver assist functions packed into the unit that we can activate. We go in and it takes a quick setup procedure to make sure that the cameras are aligned properly with your vehicle in both forward and rear. There's a quick calibration that you'll run through by simply starting the calibration and then just driving your vehicle. Once you've done that, you can turn on things like the lane departure warnings that are going to notify you if your vehicle starts to drift out of a lane. You even have control over what speed that happens at. So maybe you only want that notifying you at highway speeds, not when you're simply driving around town. You can do that by changing the lane departure speed. We also have things like forward and rear collision warnings you can turn on to let you know if you're approaching a vehicle too fast or a vehicle is approaching you from behind too fast. And we also have a front departure warning. Now that front departure warning is gonna notify you if a vehicle in front of you maybe at a stop sign or in stop and go traffic has started moving again, again with an audible notification from the unit and a visual notification right here on the restyle screen that, hey, pay attention, it's time to start moving. Traffic is flowing again. Of course, we can also change the volume for those adaptive driver assist functions separately from the other alert volume settings on the unit. As you can see, a ton of really great features and functions packed into the DVR C320R that you can make even better by pairing it with an Alpine restyle unit like the i509 WRA JL. If you wanna get more information or to purchase the DVR C320R, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the unit, how to get it installed, or anything else I went over today, you can always do this for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.